Okay, let's talk about Alex Algebra 1. And for those of you that are taking Algebra 1 course and are using the Alex system, well, what I have here for you is a practice problem that you should uh, be able to fully handle. Now, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I have some outstanding Alex math courses, okay? So if you are, again, taking Alex Algebra 1, which I assume that you are if you're watching this video and you need help, uh, additional instruction to kind of help you along in this particular course, I'm going to leave a link to my Alex Algebra 1 course, a full comprehensive video-based instruction. It will really, really help you out in this particular course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description below. But uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the problem again. All right. Now, uh, when you study Algebra 1, you're going to have to know a lot about square roots and radicals. So here is the problem. Now, you may or may not have reached this point in the course, but if you um, have studied or already studied uh, the chapter that involves uh, rational expressions, radicals, uh, things like that, square roots, then this is a problem you should be able to handle. All right, so let's take a look at this problem here. And this is a problem, okay? Now, I'm, obviously, it's a math problem, but I'm saying that it's a problem in its current form. Now, why it's a problem is that we can't have a square root uh, a irrational number uh, in the denominator, okay? So we're going to have to do something here with this problem. Let me give you a kind of more basic version of this problem. So if I had 2 over the square root of 7, Hopefully you would recognize, oh, I can't do this, or I can't leave my answer this way. You would have to do what? Well, you would have to what we call rationalize the denominator. You see, you can't have, again, an irrational number in the denominator. So here I would have to actually multiply both the numerator and denominator by the square root of 7. Now, in this particular case, it's not that easy because we have um, this kind of difference going on here, 1 minus the square root of 3. So how do we... Uh, simplify this. Well, of course, that is the topic of this video. Uh, now, if you know um, how to do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. Uh, you know, good kind of little pop quiz here is just to kind of pause the video and see if you can do this, right? I'm going to show you the answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to walk through the solution step by step. But uh, let's go and take a look at the answer here. So the answer is the following, okay? So negative 1 minus the square root of 3 is the correct answer. Now, if you got that right, that is outstanding. And if you didn't get this right, don't panic. Um, just use this video as feedback. Uh, again, I teach you all of this stuff uh, that you'll need to know to be successful in your Alex Algebra 1 course. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. So what we need to do is uh, we need to multiply the denominator by something called the conjugate, all right? So here's the denominator. We want to get rid of this square root. So the conjugate here, this is 1 minus the square root of 3. The conjugate is going to be the opposite uh, sign, okay? So in other words, if this is subtraction, uh, this has to just turn into addition. If this was addition, this would be subtraction. So this is the conjugate, 1 plus the square root of 3. So what you have to do is multiply both the denominator and numerator by the conjugate. Okay, so 1 plus the square root of 3 over 1 plus the square root of 3. And, and if we do this math, then we'll be good to go. We will have simplified what's going on. Okay, now uh, before we go any further here, you need to know how to deal with multiplication of these binomials. And that's effectively what they are. So just as a quick review, um, ask yourself, if I gave you this problem, 2x plus 1 times x minus 3, have one binomial times another binomial, could you do this, all right? Hopefully you're thinking about the FOIL method, right? First, outer, inner, last. And if you are, then you are on the right track, and that's what you want to do here, okay? You want to use the FOIL method to find the product here. Well, you'll actually just use the distributive property. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this right now. Okay, so the first thing is we'll go ahead and take this 2, and we'll multiply it by the numerator, so that'll be 2 times 1 plus the square root of 3. And then I'll kind of come back here and clean this up in a second. But let's 
take a look at this right here. Okay, so again, I'm going to use the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. So this would be uh, 1 times 1. That's the first. That's 1. Then we have 1 times the square root of 3. That's a positive square root of 3. That's first, outer, inner. It's going to be negative square root of 3 times 1. So that's negative square root of 3. And then I have uh, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, or that would be square root of 3 squared. So when I clean this up, I have uh, 1 plus these cancel each other out, right? Uh, square root of 3 minus square root of 3 is 0. So that's going to be minus the square root of 3 squared, which, of course, is 3. So 1 minus 3 is negative 2. All right, so this would be a negative 2 down here. But if you kind of notice the pattern, uh, what we have here is like A minus B. And this is A plus B. So A minus B, uh, this binomial is in a uh, form, A minus B. And here is A plus B because these are the same values, right? One could be like our A and uh, B is the square root of 3. So just follow this pattern. And A minus B or A, A minus B times A plus B, hopefully you remember, is the result of factoring the difference of two squares. So another way you could do this is recognize that a is 1. So you can square that, a squared, minus b squared. Uh, b, in this case, is the square root of 3. So you have the square root of 3 squared, and this will yield the same result, negative 2. Okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and continue on. Now that I know that the uh, product of the um, denominators down here, these two binomials, is negative 2, I have 2 times 1 plus, a uh, uh, 1 plus the square root of 3. But right here, this uh, 2, this is a factor, so I could just put uh, cross-cancel this 2 into this 2, and that leaves me with negative 1. So now I have negative 1 times 1 plus the square root of 3, and then I can distribute that negative 1 there, so that leaves me with negative 1 minus the square root of 3. So this is the final answer. Okay, so again, working with radicals and square roots and rationalization and uh, conjugates, all this stuff, you definitely need to know this to be successful in Algebra 1. And again, if you are using uh, the Alex program to take your Algebra 1 course, uh, what you need is likely uh, kind of supplemental instruction, right? And I think you'll be very, very happy with my uh, course that goes along with this particular course. So again, you can find that uh, in the description below. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your Alex Algebra 1 course. Thank you for your time and have a great day.